uh, as a businessman, uh, I'm sort of finished with politicians. Because <laughs> are you including the current, <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> present crop? <laughs> because we, we've been living last. You all seem to be years. getting on quite well in the green room beforehand. <laughs> well, are you including this lot as well? The last three years, we've sat there, watched delusional people living on a different planet, believing anything they say, thinking that we're all stupid enough to believe it ourselves, and we're not that stupid, public. <laughs> They've got very little or regulation whatsoever. And whatever regulation they did have, they tried to sweep away. And we're acting like a, a Tim Pot dictatorship, where everybody gets into Parliament, fills their boots, enjoys life, goes on to the House of Lords or a job for life or, or a bank or something, and actually, they come first, their party comes second, and the nation has come a very Paul third for the last few years. No, I think that's really, no, oh, that's, I'm not quite finished. And this is an opportunity now. Our third Prime Minister in this session of Parliament, this is our opportunity to try and put things right and get confidence. Alternatively, we're going to have to start... Have another do, election. Do have need, an election. Need, get another oh, well, government. Them. That's what uh, we need. Both parties. Hold on. I'm not picking any party. I've been, mm. I've been absolutely independent here. Will we then start asking for a political regulator to regulate politicians because they can't behave themselves? Do you know, if you're a director of a public company in the city, whatever you say, you've got to have verification for. You've got to verify. Otherwise, they grab you, throw you out. Politicians seem to be quite happy to go on news channels just spouting what they actually know is a damn right lie. And that, that has got to stop, and has got to stop now. This is our opportunity to get some stability back in the country and for it to try and rebuild and then have an election on the right terms where people understand this is a serious job and we need serious people with ability to do the job for the nation. Well, I'm just going to come back to you.